What's going on, guys? Pokemon Radar here again with another uh, informational mail video, kind of similar to what we saw recently. I've got a pretty special card here, another one of those uh, Grail cards, as as we might call them for certain collectors. Uh, but to start, I want to go over a set of cards that I got that is honestly surprising to me that I hadn't realized what they really were. Um, this is a set of cards that is now my new favorite Pokemon set. Um, for those that don't know, Super Smash Bros. Melee is the king of nostalgia for me. This is the pinnacle. This was my childhood right here. The, the prime time, the perfect, perfect video game made for building and destroying friendships. So I got this black label, U.S. print, uh... 9.4 A plus seal graded myself from Wada Games. So happy to own this thing. And um, when I was talking about this with with my friends in Discord, it was brought up to me that there was a promo set released in Japan, exclusively in Japan, that may have been a inspiration uh, to Super Smash Bros. Melee, or at least made from uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. So. We're going to go over those first. You know, I want to give a big shout out to East Point Pictures, metagame documentary. They came out with a second follow-up Super Smash Bros. Melee documentary for like competitive play. Uh, it was released this past weekend, and it'll be up on YouTube hopefully soon. No way affiliated with it, but it is my favorite piece of content ever created on YouTube, the original documentary, and I can't wait to finish this second documentary. So check that out, East Point Pictures, metagame doc, incredible. To start, we're going to go over these beautiful, beautiful cards. These cards were released in 2002. We're going to go one by one here. 2002, this was the uh, Pokemon Happy Adventure Rally, or JR Rally as, as it's called. Um, these cards were released in an event uh, with the JR East Yamanote line from August 3rd to August 18th in 2002. So a very short window. One of those things that had to be done by going to specific locations and getting kind of a, a passport type thing stamped. So we have six cards here in, in the set. I have all of them sealed except for the Celebi. Here's the Pikachu. And then there was also a secondary art for this Pikachu here as well. So we're going to go over these real quick, starting off with the Celebi. So Celebi is the P promo number 42. Um, this was given out and obtained at the booth present at the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. So if you went to the Pokemon Center in Tokyo during that time, you would get the Celebi. And then moving on to the Entei, P-Promo number 43. This was available at the Ikibukuro Station, one of the train stations out there in Japan. We're going to skip skip the first Pikachu. We're going to head to 45, P-Promo 45, Pichu. This one was handed out at the Shinjuku Station. Uh, the Mewtwo, one of the favorite artworks from this set. Uh, the Mewtwo promo number 46. This one was released at a booth uh, at the Shinagawa station. And then moving on to promo number 47, the Lugia. This one was present at the Shibuya station. So you had to travel to all these different train locations in the Pokemon Center in Tokyo to get these. For the, for the Pikachu part of the six card set, you had to go to the Tokyo train station. And then there was the alternate art Pikachu here. This one was released uh, at the Battle Festa 2002 venue um, held in Japan between July and August of 2002. People that were able to collect three stamps by visiting three separate events at the venue were given this card. So this one's a little bit more uh, common, I guess, uh, larger time frame of, of release and distribution. But this six card set is just my new favorite niche set within Pokemon. Uh, again, Japanese exclusive and uh, the Pikachu and Mewtwo are depicted here on a, on a stage that's resembling a melee stage. Uh, so next, we got a couple more cards that you may have seen already. I have a first edition Lugia and this uh, Master Scroll. These will be getting sent off to Beckett here shortly with this new edition. 
something very similar to what we saw before in one of my past videos, but this is another pinnacle card. This is the most expensive of this Pokemon. The highly, highly sought after Play Promo Espeon Gold Star. Again, guys, this is a very rare card. Very hard to come by. You needed 50,000 points in the Play Promotional Club. Uh, I was Twitch streaming earlier and started doing the math. You had to attend one event, partake in one event, buy something each weekend for an entire year and like two months to get this card. That was dedication. Dedication. You couldn't miss a weekend. And, uh, you know, if, if you won a couple of tournaments here and there, sure, you could skip out on a weekend here and there, but... Man, the amount that it took to get this thing and then the Umbreon above that is just absolutely incredible. So I got this Gold Star Play Promo Espeon, and it's a thing of beauty. I cannot wait to see what the grade turns out to be, but that will be going to Beckett alongside the Scroll and the Lugia. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the love and support I've been receiving lately. It's been just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, wherever you can find me, wherever you see the logo, hit that follow button and uh, we'll see you guys next time.